Hi traders, welcome back to Simply Forex. I hope you are having a marvellous trading week. Um, today, guys, uh, I've been asked a question by one of our Discord members, and he was asking me, what do you mean by confluence? Okay, he said, Tom, what do you mean by confluence? So I am going to answer this question in today's vid. So confluence, guys, is basically, think of confluence as reasons, reasons to enter a trade. OK, and if I have enough confluence, I will enter that trade. OK, so we're going to look at an example now. New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. This is the weekly chart. And basically, guys, I do a top down approach. I look at weekly, daily, H4 and H1. And every time frame gives me a piece of confluence. I start painting a picture of if I can trade this pair or not. All right. And here's an example we're going to look at. So this is the New Zealand dollar and this is the weekly chart, guys. OK, so weekly chart, you can clearly see we are in an uptrend, higher highs, higher lows. OK, and then we're we're currently back at these last lows. OK, so we know this area of support is potentially an important weekly level. OK, so we're in an uptrend. To be honest with you guys, I don't like this red candle, okay? But currently, as you can see with this weekly candle, which hasn't finished forming yet, we are getting a bit of a push back from this level, okay? But we are in a weekly uptrend, guys. All right, so that's our first piece of confluence because I'm looking for buys, okay? So we then drop down to the day chart. Okay, and then as we can see, guys, this is that important weekly grey zone. Yeah, price has reacted once at this level. Um, it's now reacting again. Okay, so this is another reason we're at a very good support level. And ever since we saw this green candle, followed by a doji, yeah, followed by another doji, it tells me that sellers who were in control are slowing down and then buyers are entering the market. This is what these candles are telling me. So these are more reasons why I am looking for buys. Yeah, more reasons, more confluence. Okay. So, um, yeah, we, we got confluence here as well, guys. Okay. Then I'm going to drop down to the H4 and I'm looking for more reasons to trade this pair. Okay. So we've come down to our gray zone. Yeah, this is the H4 now. And we've also had a break in structure. As soon as this candle here, this large bullish green candle, breaks these highs, yeah, for me, we have had a change in H1 structure. Yeah, so this candle tells us that buyers are pushing off of this level, okay? And we've had a structure break on the H4. More confluence, more reasons to take this trade. We're looking for buys, okay? Um, and then as you can see, guys, yeah, we, 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 we had a bit of a bearish reaction, but nothing that, you know, broke these lows. Yeah, we're not getting lower lows. And then buyers have started to come back in, all right? So again, more confluence by looking at the candles. We then drop down to the H1 chart, and I'm going to show you a few candles we could have entered on. So again, we're looking for more confluence, reasons to take the trade. So this was that break, that H4 structure break, and then price come back down and just sort of, yeah, didn't do much in this area here. Okay. Then we got this candle. Okay. So this candle has broken these last highs. So for me, we had a H1 structure break, and these are the last H1 lows. We had this candle we could have entered on, this candle, because I'm looking for bullish candles to enter on, guys. My stop loss would be down here, okay? Because this is technically the last swing low on the H1. But again, we get lots of candles that tell us we can buy. All right. And then eventually, guys, if this was the last H1 highs, yeah, we get another candle that tells us we can enter. OK, so again, 
this candle has broken these last H1 highs. Therefore, we have a you know, a change in H1 structure or a continuation of H1 structure. We have higher highs. OK, and again, yeah, it takes price back up, guys. All right. So for all of these reasons, I can I can take this trade. I looked at the weekly, the daily, the H4 and the H1. And each piece of each time frame gave me more confluence, more reasons to enter the trade. Um, not only were we with H4 structure, we were with H1 structure as well. And we know this gray zone here was a potential good area for buys because it was an important weekly and daily area of support. So you can see, guys, how how many reasons I had to take this trade. This is all confluence. And as you can see, guys, I'm in this trade as we speak and it's going up nicely. All right. If we just zoom out quickly, my target is this orange line here. And I'll show you why it is, because it's the last piece of potential resistance over here. So this is my target, guys. All right, but you could see how many reasons I had to enter this trade. Your job as a trader, guys, is to gather these reasons. Look at the different time frames, gather as many reasons as you can to take the trade. It will give you confidence to take the trade. Confluence equals confidence. I like this saying. I'm going to put it on a t-shirt. Um, yeah, and that's your job, guys. Get reasons, confluence to enter a trade. Imagine you're doing a business decision, yeah? You wouldn't get one piece of information and make a decision uh, for your business. It's the same with trading. You need, you need to get as much information as you can to make informed decisions. All right, guys, so next time you place a trade, remember that. And if you've enjoyed this video, then come join us. Yeah, Join Simply Forex, um, subscribe to the channel, smash the notification button, and also smash the like button. We'd love to have you support the channel. Mercy Buku, and I will see you for the next vid. See you later, guys.